Hey there, this is Akshit Madan. Welcome back to a new video. And from this video, I am starting this wonderful course of Dart Fundamentals, right? Many of you started learning Flutter from my channel and you guys were telling me that, hey, we are con getting confused with Dart uh, Fundamentals from with Dart syntax and Dart language, right? So there I am bringing you the complete beginner to advanced course of Dart. This is not a course of Flutter. We will not be making apps. We will be learning the programming language behind Flutter, which is Dart, right? So try to keep both of them uh, separately. Dart is a programming language and Flutter is a framework, right? Flutter uses Dart and to become a master of Flutter, you should be a master of Dart, right? So here I am bringing you this Dart fundamentals course, right? So if you are new to programming, if you are new to Dart, or if you know already a programming language, or if you, do, if you don't know, no problem, right? This course is for you and well, from which whichever background, whichever programming language background you are coming, this course is suitable for you. And also if you want to learn Flutter in Hindi from me, from basics, the course link is in the description. You can check it out and you can purchase it and enroll into it ASAP, right? So without wasting more time, let's get into this wonderful video of learning about data types and variables, right? So first of all, you should know that what is a variable and what is a data type? Let's pick up variables, right? So what is programming? In programming, the most fundamental thing that we have to do is we have to store some data. Let's say there is an integer, there is a number that we have to store and we have to utilize it in the further process. Let's say five. Now that five, we need to store somewhere, right? So we have to store it in a box. Let's assume that we have to store this number in a box so that we can pick this number from this box and utilize it in our further process, in a further function or in some other way, right? So that box is called a variable. So we learned one thing that we learned about variable. What is a variable? It's a box that contains data, right? And also you guys will be asking like, hey, this is not VS Code, this is not Android Studio, what is this? This is a Dart pad and the complete course will be using this Dart pad. This is not VS Code, this is not an IDE, this is a simple web link, dartpad.dev. You can also go onto this link and start your programming. You don't need to download anything. So that's also a very beautiful thing of this course that you don't need to download any single software on your computer. Just go on dartpad.dev and start programming, right? Good. So <clears throat> as soon as I start writing something, this documentation also tells me that, hey, you have written this and this is the meaning of this. So this is also very good for beginners, right? So we have learned about variable. What is a variable, right? It's a box that contains data. Now that data can be of multiple types right? That data can be your name, right? That data can be your age, right? That data can be whether you are male or female, right? So if I'm a male, then it can be true, right? So it can be true or false. Then it can be some of my favorite fruits. So my favorite fruits are plural. So that means we have to store them in an array. If you're new to, if you're not new to program, then you will be knowing what is an array. In Dart or in Python, we call them a list right? Arrays are called list, right? So my favorite fruits are apple, right? So they are written like this. They are apple, then mango, right? And this also will be written like this, right? So this double quotes or single quotes indicates a character or a string, right? This number can be an integer or it can be a double. This true false is called a boolean right? This is called a string, right? This is called a list, right? So these are data types. There are many data types, right? So we have learned about, we have to, we have learned about some of the data types, right? So this single quote, it can also be single quote. It can also be like this, right? This is also a string and this is also a string. This 21, it's an integer because it is not having decimal values. Now it can be 5.5, it can be 5.52, this will become a double. In Dart, we don't have float, right? Like in uh, any other programming language like Java, right? In Dart, we have two numeric data types, integer and double, right? True or false, so it can be true or it can be false, right? This list can contain strings, so this is a string. So I can say that this is a list of strings. This is a list of string right? Then it can also be a list of numbers, right? So I can say it like this. 
थ्री कॉमा सेवन कॉमा ट्वेंटी वन सो दिस इज अ लिस्ट ऑफ इंटीजर्स राइट दिस इज अ लिस्ट ऑफ इंटीजर्स नाउ इट कैन ऑल्सो बी अ लिस्ट ऑफ बुलियंस इट कैन ऑल्सो बी अ लिस्ट ऑफ स्ट्रिंग्स इट कैन ऑल्सो बी अ लिस्ट ऑफ एनी अदर डेटा टाइप राइट सो डेटा टाइप इन साइड अ डेटा टाइप सो दिस इज अ लिस्ट अनदर डेटा टाइप इज अ मैप वट इज अ मैप इफ यू आर फेमिलियर विद पाइथन इट्स कॉल्ड अ डिक्शनरी इट लुक्स लाइक दिस करली ब्रैकेट्स इट हैज की वैल्यू पेयर्स की वैल्यू पेयर्स लुक लाइक दिस नेम अक्षर सो वन इज अ की वन इज अ वैल्यू सो नेम इज अ की अक्षित इज अ वैल्यू एज ट्वेंटी वन सो दिस इज अ की दिस इज अ वैल्यू राइट एंड दिस कैन बी कीज आर मोस्टली कीज आर ऑलवेज स्ट्रिंग्स एंड वैल्यूज कैन बी ऑफ एनी टेर टाइप दिस वैल्यू कैन बी ऑफ लिस्ट दिस वैल्यू कैन बी अन अदर मैप दिस वैल्यू कैन बी अ नंबर दिस वैल्यू कैन बी अ स्ट्रिंग राइट दिस वैल्यू कैन बी अ बुलियन दिस वैल्यू कैन बी अ डबल एनी डेटा टाइप इट कैन बी राइट देन मेल ट्रू राइट की वैल्यू पेयर्स अंडरस्टूड सो दिस इज डेटा टाइप न हाउ वी राइट दिस डेटा टाइप्स इन द फॉर्म ऑफ डार्ट लैंग्वेज वी हैव टू यूज सिंटेक्स ऑफ डार्ट राइट सो लेट्स डू इट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट कैनॉट यू कैनॉट राइट लाइक पाइथन दैट यू स्टार्ट राइटिंग इन वेरिएबल्स यू स्टार्ट डिफाइनिंग वेरिएबल्स इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट इन डार्ट और इन मोस्टली इन ओ पी लैंग्वेजेस यू हैव टू स्टार्ट अ मेन फंक्शन राइट एंड इन साइड दैट मेन फंक्शन यू हैव टू डू सम स्टफ राइट सो लेट्स डू इट वाइड मेन वट इज वाइड कैन एनी ऑफ यू टेल मी इन द कमेंट सेक्शन वट इज वाइड आई एम स्टॉपिंग फॉर अ सेकेंड सो वाइड means that this value is not going to return anything or oh, sorry not this function is not going to return anything right this is a function that i'm going to start right it looks like this of course we are going to study functions in further videos but for to start learning data types i have to define define some stuff and for defining we have to define in a function and this is my main function this main function is the first function that runs whenever my app opens or whenever my script gets run right so this is the main function and inside this main function this void means that this value this function is not going to return anything it is going to perform some task and that's it it's not going to return anything clear now in this main function i can define my variables so i i'm going to start or uh, i'm going to start uh, storing my information my own information <coughs> string name is equal to akshit semicolon in python we don't have to write py, uh, in we don't have to write semicolons but here we have to write semicolons right now let's define another one boolean mail is true make sure that you don't uh, define this true inside uh uh sorry uh, double quotes then it will become string right it is without this and this s <coughs> is capital right my mistake so we have defined string data type we have defined a boolean data type or a boolean variable and then i'm going to define int age is equal to 21 then semicolon then i can define favorite fruit so it will be a list of list of in triangular brackets we define data type so list of string right and i'm going to call fruits is equal to list then semicolon then i can define my strings mango apple now this list is a list of strings so i cannot define number inside it it is going to give me error right see red line error right i cannot define numbers inside it if i have to make it a dynamic list that i want that this list should be able to store any kind of data then i have to make it a dynamic list how to make a dynamic list you just try to write dynamic here dynamic now i can store numbers inside it no red line this is okay but i want to store string perfect then i want to make a map of my data so map 
and this map also has this uh, data type right so here you have to basically define the key value data type my key will be in the form of string right and my data can be of any data type so dynamic or my value can be of any data type so dynamic right my data is equal to can somebody tell me how we write maps curly brackets perfect put a semicolon and define your map name my name is my name now i am using this variable i defined this variable this yellow line means that you have not used this variable somewhere so now this yellow line below name is gone because i've used this variable right name age age male male <coughs> and fruits fruits right see all these yellow lines are gone so this is how you define data types and you define variables in dart i hope that you like this video and now i'm going to finally print this my data so print my data put a semicolon and i'm going to run this script let's see see my map is printed now right this is my map and it's printed i hope that you like this video till the next video keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot